Okay, hello. Welcome back to the uh, full season of Hitman. Um, this is episode one. I know in the last video I decided to call it episode two, but I'm going to call the last one introduction, this one episode two. Just to avoid confusion. Um, and we're going to be dealing with uh, the fan theories uh, surrounding Hitman itself. So let's uh, get on with it and discuss it. So a lot of fan theories with Hitman. Um, most of the ones, let's go ahead and do the, uh, introduction first. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine Show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. All right, so we're going to do a little preparation. And, yep, planning. Uh, my main idea, I'm going to do the AV Center undercover one. And let's see, going to actually unequip, yep, pretty much everything I have going to go in without any any equipment so we'll see how that works um so there are three interesting conspiracy theories i've come across with hitman um uh the first one involves the clones uh agent 47 was created as part of a genetic uh process um we're not entirely sure what he's supposed to be a clone of but he was genet basically genetically engineered to be the perfect assassin um, now there's, there was an interesting fan theory about the clone process that the 47 in this game is not the 47 in the previous games, but he's uh, 47 Mark II. Um, while it's an interesting theory, I'm, I'm having a hard time, you know, believing it because then, uh, <clears throat> Diana would have to be in on the, um, yeah, on the fact that he was a clone and, Diana is actually quite attached to Agent 47, so I find it difficult to believe that she would be in on the trade-off and so on. Um, although, if we follow this theory out, a few people think that in Season 2, um, one of the targets will actually be the original 47, so that makes it kind of interesting, but um, as far as it, for me, it just doesn't work that well. So, yeah, just going over that little dialogue. I have fireworks now. And I decided to start here just to make it a little bit easier to get through and do things. So, yeah, while, while it's an interesting theory, I just don't see it quite playing out. And honestly, it just, you know, it just doesn't seem like a cool. Yeah, it just, it just doesn't quite work for me, although it's an interesting idea. The uh, second one is equally interesting. So, as we discover in this, um, 
Uh, on this level, there's actually a uh, fashion model. Oh, what was his name? I can't remember the name of the fashion model, but apparently Agent 47 looks exactly like him. Um, including the fact that neither both are bald, neither of them have hair. Let's disguise myself. Now, this this becomes interesting. Uh, when uh, in one of the if you uh, take his place, and you'll get a meeting with uh, Dahlia Margolis, where she actually asks you to um, romance and then assassinate someone, and this is apparently is not the first time you've done that. So you are, in, in fact, a professional assassin. Sir, I'm so, gonna have to search you. So this guy is, or the guy, this model that Agent 47 looks like is no a professional time. assassin. So, to, so what makes that interesting is this theory that he is actually a clone of 47, you, or was at least part of the same cloning program. Now this isn't as far-fetched as, as you might think. This one actually could possibly come back and, and be real, because... Um, Agent 47 has previously encountered, um, let's see, all right, I'm just trying to remember the right way to go. Okay, probably not that way. Let's see. That is Dahlia Margolis. Okay, so that's not the right place to go. Let's try to see what's over here. That's not the right place to go. Ah, I always get so confused. Um, right, well, you know, Agent 47 has encountered, um, yep, that's where I want to go. So Agent 47 has encountered, um, other products of the agent of the same program that created him. Um, so we're gonna trigger some fireworks here. Ooh, pretty. Now, um, although he had thought all of them to be dead, and in, indeed uh, a certain character in this uh, game is also thought to be a program. But it, it, it is an interesting idea that he happens to look just like this uh, major fashion model because they're both were created as part of the same Assassin's program. So I, I actually do like the food of that fan theory. And yeah, I don't actually, I don't see anything that you know, says it's, it's wrong or it won't work. Now the third, this third fan theory um, it is m more of a fun thing. It can't really be disproven. It can't really be proven or disproven. Um, it's that uh, HM47 has uh, time travel powers and abilities. There he is. Oh, this is too good to be true. Keep it together down there, Victor. You want to throw one so, of your tents? Best assassination ever. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head to Mainly the because what, what makes that particular assassination really good is that. Um, Dahlia Margolis, um, is assassinated by falling. Stay clear, son. I think there's someone ordering a gazpacho or something. Wait a second. I can go this way. Right. So, yeah. Dahlia Margolis dies by gravity, and Victor Margolis dies by Dahlia Margolis is the murder weapon. It's just kind of a fun thing to do, and you kind of roll your eyes and say, "Oh, women were the end of him." A lot of puns that can be made about it. But um, anyway, back to the uh, the theory, the initial theory of um, Agent Forty Seven that he uh, has uh, the power to manipulate time and space. Um, the idea behind this theory is um, the fact that. In this game, you can actually repeat the level multiple times, but have different potential outcomes. So the idea being that his he's so good at assassinating people because he plays it through, like uh, the player is doing in this game. He plays the entire assassination through multiple times, and he succeeds 
because he finds the best possible way to do it. The one that will get literally he's guaranteed success because he does it, repeats it time travel wise. Now, yeah, that that is kind of a silly one and it but it is uh it's just a silly fun um fan theory on it. Um there's no real way to prove it. But, you know, it would explain a lot. <laughs> Moscow. Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Hmm. Suspicious. So, my mission has been accomplished. Yep, Silent Assassin, five stars. Uh, yeah, I, I would debate one of those uh, stars just simply because both bodies were found. And yeah, I, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, those are a couple of the uh, conspiracy or fan theories. I'm going to keep doing that through the entire thing, but they are fan theories. Those are a couple of fan theories uh, around uh, Hitman. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you... Uh, like that it you can include any other uh, fan theories you might uh, have liked I didn't include all the ones I came across those were uh, the three that I just found the mo most intriguing and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video we will uh, next level we will be in Marrakesh and um, no we won't be in Marrakesh we'll be in Sapienza sorry sometimes I forget the order we'll be in Sapienza and uh, yep haven't quite decided uh, what uh, game I will be doing next uh, for a uh, fan theory or fan theories about cer certain games. I oh wait, or have I? You know, I I've really got to stop. Uh, I I've got to start thinking before I talk. I do know what uh, we will be doing in in Sapienza. So tune in and you will enjoy it. I'll leave it as a surprise. Anyway, like and subscribe, and I will see you uh, next time in Sapienza. Bye.